Good morning, everyone. We are back. We are going to read a new book today. I want to welcome you back to our uh, For the People and Kids weekend reading series. Today's book is going to be read by my daughter, Mia. It is Frida. Please remember that all the books that we read can be purchased from our sponsor bookstore, which is wordofbooks.com. You are going to get 15% off um, by using promo code ADSUTBE2020. Everything is going to be listed, no worries. So if I can just tell you a little bit about Frida, who I am a big fan of. So Frida Carlo, original name is was Magdalena Carmen Frida Carlo y Calderon. She was born July 6, 1907 in Coyacán, Mexico, and she died July 13. 1954 in Goyacán, New Mexico, in her very infamous, which is now a museum, Blue Casa. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican uh, painter known for her many portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico, inspired the, by the country's um, popular culture. She herself carried a very native and folk art style. If I can show you this little doll I bought Mia, perhaps myself with the beautiful flowers in her hair, her jewelry, her long skirts. This is how Frida uh, dressed all the time. She wanted to explore questions about identity and gender, class, and race in, in the Mexican society. Frida Kahlo has been described as a surrealist or a, a magical realist. Well, with that, I am going to pass it on to my daughter Mia, who is going to read off camera, a little shy, but that's okay. Go ahead, my Mia. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mia, and I'm 12 years old and in the seventh grade. Frida Kahlo is one of my mother's favorite artists and has become one of mine. And for that reason, today I will be reading a book Mom gave me when I was about two years old. Frida, written by Jonah Winter and illustrated by Anna Clark. There is a glare, so we are going to try to work with that. Okay. Frida enters the world. For little Frida, the world is Mexico. Her house is a blue house. It is in the town of Coyacan. Frida's father is an artist and a photographer. He teaches her how to use a paintbrush. Frida's mother takes care of six daughters. Often she is tired. Often Frida is lonely even though she has sisters. Enter stage left. Frida's imaginary friend. Her name is also Frida. They play games. All of a sudden, Frida falls very ill. She's in bed for months. There's something wrong with one of her legs. Even her imaginary friend can't cheer her. That's when Frida teaches herself how to draw. Drawing saves her from being sad. After Frida gets well, she still wants to make art. So she paints little paintings. There are copies of other paintings. Painting onto photographs is what Frida's father does for a living. He teaches her how to do this too. Frida also paints things she sees through a microscope. She loves looking at things very closely. At school, Frida studies science. She is very she is bored. School is too easy. One day, Frida is riding the bus home from school. A horrible accident happened. A trolley runs on into the bus. Frida almost dies. In the hospital, it is painting that saves her once again. Painting is like her imaginary thing. It is there whenever she wants it. It keeps her company. It keeps her from getting giving up hope.
after the accident, life will never be the same for you. She will walk with a cane when she is able to. Her body will always hurt. But Frida doesn't cry or complain. Instead of crying, she paints pictures of herself crying. When she can't leave her bed, she paints in bed. When her whole torso is put in a cast, she paints on the cast. Nothing can stop Frida from painting because she she's so often alone, unable to leave her house. She has to use her imagination. She paints what she sees in her heart on top of what she sees with her eyes. It's almost like painting on photographs. She paints little magical scenes with words at the bottom. All over Mexico, people paint these kind of scenes. Sometimes they are scenes of accidents with angels coming to the rescue. They are like prayers for people who are sick. They are called ex -mortos. Frida paints ex -mortos of herself when she is sick or in pain. Frida imitates no one in her style. Her paintings are like nothing else. In museums, people still look at them and weep and sigh and smile. She turns her paint into something beautiful. It is like a miracle. Que viva Frida. Long live Frida. I want to thank my wonderful daughter, Mia, for reading that book. Thank you, Mia. And I want to, again, just remind you guys, let's build up our children's uh, library with these wonderful, diverse books. So go to wordupbooks.com, put in the promo code, and every book that we read, you can order and get 15% off. We'll be back next weekend of the 26th and the 27th with a new reader and two new books. Um, tune in this Tuesday, the 22nd, where we are going to introduce you to our science CPOT educator, Mrs. Robin, who will tell us all about dinosaurs. Hey, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Que viva Frida. Bye, guys. Thank you.